boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man, was that awesome or what? Did you guys see that strike? Holy cow. It's a big old gator right there. That is a big gator. Holy. Holy cow, I don't know if I'm going to see. I think I got her hooked pretty well. Alright, wow. Look at that northern in the weeds, man. Holy cow. That's awesome. All right, let me see if I can get her. Boy, did she fight hard? Did she fight hard? What? Oh, there she is. Oh, man. That, that is awesome, guys. Look at that. Whew. Looked right in the beak there. This swim jig is so versatile. Unbelievable. Let's get her back. Dang, what a pike. What a strike. Hey guys, so I'm fishing post-spawn bass. Water temps are just approaching and uh, exceeding 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So these fish are on the flats right now. It's just an awesome pattern to key yourself in on for the early summer period. And I want to show you what I'm using today. This is a swim jig, okay? Not a swim bait. This is a swim jig because it has a jig head. And then um, it's got this nice little skirt, a weed guard to protect the hook from... Uh, different types of cover you're going to be running into. You're going to be probably fishing, of course, across weed flats. And uh, as you can see here, i got trees and wood all over the place. But I want to show you how I rig this thing. Now, for the body that you can see here, there's a little um, callus that sticks out here to help hold your plastic, whatever you're put in place here. i got this little paddle tail grub. And first of all, I want to show you how I put this on here. This is kind of an important topic. Um, I always measure up where the shank of the hook is going to come out of the... Uh, out of the soft plastic. So I kind of eyeball it where it's going to come out and that is where I want to uh, pierce the plastic with the with the hook once once I uh, pull it on through. So I kind of eyeballed where I want it to come out. Kind of feel it. I can try to do it right in the correct spot there. There we go. And I'm going to push this right up. Well, it looks like I did it right. Push that right up onto the collar. And there you have it now. A swim jig and you'll see me here the, the tactic is very simple we're swimming this jig along if I see wood if I see a, a crib if I see a, a bed or something like that of course I can drop the swim jig down and finesse it just like any other pl uh, soft plastic uh, you know like a wacko style um, presentation or whatever but right now I'm covering ground I'm fishing the flats I've got uh, 10 pound test fluorocarbon here I am using St. Croix Legend Tournament Bass Casting Rod. This is their 7 foot 1. It's a medium heavy power, but extra fast action. I like the extra fast action because the tip slings into place and helps throw uh, these small uh, swim jigs out there. This is a 3 8 ounce swim jig. Post-spawn largemouth, I mean, just what a blast! What a blast! These fish are just, just fighting like crazy here. Nice fish, all right, all right. Settle down, settle down. Let's show the guys what you look like. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. excellent. Here we go. Beautiful bass. They are just hammering this thing. As you can see, man. Awesome. Hey guys, welcome to our musky segment. I am fishing with Mike Conti. Mike, thanks for coming on board. Guys, today it's all about triggering fish during a cold front. We got bluebird skies, a northeast wind, and probably the best pattern we found during a cold front to catch fish consistently is fishing the rocks. Rock bite, absolutely. Getting away from the weed cover. Everybody's pounding the weeds and it's, it's easy to get into that and not leave it, but it can be very hard to contact fish when they're hunkered down in the weeds, especially during challenge conditions. It's just difficult to get that lure in front of their face. It, it, dude, you couldn't say it any better than that. The cool thing about fishing rock structure is that the fish can't go down any further. They're, they're pretty much in the open and it allows us to get these lures closer to them and get a chance to trigger a strike.
Chaz Martin's Musky Mastery Outdoors is brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors, number one in big game fish products. And by St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth. Fish more, worry less. Boys, I gotta stop saying that. That was awesome. Woo! Guys, high skies and a north wind crank the rocks with a depth ringer, and you might just get a beautiful musky. Thanks for watching.